Before I begin, I'd just like to take this moment to applaud the wardrobe, set design and prop department for the Diversion film. You guys did a really spectacular job of making me believe that, dystopian, that this dystopian world really existed. And you're probably the only good thing about this movie. Now, viewers, you have to understand, Divergent is one of my favorite young adult novels. And when I heard that they were doing a movie for it, I was over the moon. So, me, my friends, and my sisters all made a thing about it, and we went to see the movie together. And it went from, oh my god, it's about to start, to... In no time. My best friend, who also read the book, sat right beside me and we spent half the movie going, that didn't happen, that was lame, that didn't happen. Now I know when you sell the rights of your book to a company, the screenwriters really can do anything they want with the film. But really guys, really? The movie itself had zero chemistry. Even when her parents died, I didn't feel a thing. It didn't feel sacrificial, it didn't feel like she was sad about it, it just felt like it just happened and it's like, oh, okay, my mom just died, my mom just tried to save me and died in the process, like, okay, just another day. I can't even sugarcoat it. The movie was flatter than a squashed cockroach. It was just, it was bad. It was bad, like. And on that note, I'd also like to say a special thank you to Mr. Thea James. Though you weren't exactly what I imagined for it to be, you were very, very nice to look at and you made the movie a little less painful. Needless to say, I will not be watching Insurgent in theatres, if any at all. Guys, I completely forgot to let you know that Rapid Reads is back on regular schedule this Monday, the 12th of May. So don't forget to tune in this Monday evening. I will be reviewing Mockingjay by Suzanne Collins. Until then, take care.